Hey there, today I'm going to show you some vacation outfits to wear on a cruise ship. We are finally going on a cruise vacation again and I'm going to help you know what to wear for a casual style. But I know some of you viewers out there like to dress up when you're on vacation. So I also have some outfit ideas for a dressier restaurant look. If your vacation outfit pieces coordinate with each other, then you do not pack too many clothes. When you first pack outfits for a cruise vacation, choose solid colored tops that can coordinate with other bottom pieces for your outfits. Jeans, a skirt, shorts. For your travel outfit on the way to your cruise ship vacation, my tip is to wear outfit pieces you can wear again during this trip. Therefore, you're not going to need as many clothes. For her river cruise, my mother-in-law packed a pair of black shoes and gray Skechers, and she made every outfit piece and colored top match and blend with those two pairs of shoes. If you wanna pack outerwear for your cruise ship vacation outfits, pack thin layers. This is a really thin pullover with no hood. If you're going on an Alaskan cruise, this green pullover by J. Jill is a great choice. I'll link it below as well. Another thin layer to pack in your carry-on bag that is easy to pack because it's a thin layer is a cashmere sweater. It holds your body heat in so well and can be dressy or casual. Last year I bought this raincoat from Walmart and the reason I like it for travel is it can be an outer layer that is thin to pack, but it also can help brace against the wind, especially if it's blowing rain, the hood cinches, and I think that helps a lot. Look at this pullover that is also a sweater. See the detailing on it? Another outfit idea with this same pullover is wear that on top of a sleeveless shirt on your way to a warm vacation destination for a cruise ship trip. I also think that a sweater or a sweatshirt over shorts is so flattering and cute on women. If you are new here going on vacation, I want to know your travel questions. I'm a Houston pilot wife and I share tips on YouTube to help you travel the globe without a worry in the world. If you click the bell beside subscribe, you're never gonna miss one of my videos. Now, one vacation outfit idea is to choose a color palette to pack your outfits in. Do not forget the color navy blue for matching tops with. Gingham patterned pants can mix and match with almost every solid color top. Notice how the pattern is a small gingham pattern. Loft also has a small floral pattern on some crop pants. You can wear these gingham pants with a red shirt, a gorgeous dressy black blouse, a black t-shirt, or a white t-shirt and a scarf. I just gave you four outfits with one pair of pants. And your crop pants can be worn with sneakers. You can have a solid color or one with a light pattern. Here's a solid color that I use if you're going to Europe Echo shoes are fantastic for support and arch support, but I have a whole video about travel shoes, just so you know. This heel shoe is a great way to add height and correct your posture and make an outfit look a little dressier. It gives you solid footing, is very comfortable and supportive, and it's not super high of a heel, making it really easy to walk in. Some other bottom pieces that could be worn for your vacation outfits on a cruise ship or through those activities during the day and night are elastic waist pants. There are some from Amazon, there are some from Athleta, and both of the waists are elastic, which is great for cruise trip cruise ship vacations. Be careful that your pants that are wide legged like this and very long do not drag across the floor when you're walking in your vacation shoes because on a cruise ship they usually clean off the pool decking right before dinner and that's usually where you have to walk across to get to one of the restaurants for dinner. A really long maxi skirt has the same potential problem so make sure it's not too long where it gets wet and dirty from all the stuff stuff on the ground. There are two vacation outfits for a cruise ship that this can be worn with. You can wear it with a solid t-shirt and easy casual sandals. You can also pull it up over your bust and then it's a shorter skirt and then you can wear it with a different top the next time. Here's a travel hack. If your maxi skirt is too long, just pull up the side and tie it in a knot. It kind of drapes an angle across your legs, elongating your leg and making them just more feminine and pretty. I think for women, if you wear something blousey and flowy on the bottom, then the top needs to be a little bit fitted. 
I bought three of these boat neck tops, perfect for a boat, get it? From Talbot's and they are still available and they also make them with sleeves if you do not like sleeveless. The Pima cotton that this is made with is a fitted look, but it drapes your stomach and your sides nicely. I don't know how to explain it, but I love them. I have black and navy and white. Here's another top that is great to have in your travel wardrobe. It's not a real low scoop neck on me, which I love. And then it's three quarter length sleeves. Let me know if you would pack this for a trip. In my other video of what not to wear inside the airplane, I say do not wear a white shirt but I would pack it to be worn on vacation a couple of times. I got this white shirt because of how it does skim my body correctly. It's easy to tuck in and it is not see-through. <laughs> I'm a size 10 and I'm 5'8 and this is a size medium. For my mother-in-law's river cruise, she packed those three solid tops that I talked about. I think I talked about red, light gray, and then black. She coordinated those three tops with three bottoms in these colors, black, khaki and blue ones and that's all of the things that she packed for her outfits and she added one outer piece that i'll talk about later i like to pack three quarter length sleeves this is a gorgeous gorgeous one from j jill the reason i am not packing it for a cruise ship though is because it is so blousey it will fly up so easily but i love the way it hangs and i love the pattern in this blouse because it can mix and match and coordinate with so many different colors for many vacation outfits I bought it in the dress form as well, but I'm returning that because it does not fit quite right for me. If I don't love it, it's not worth $2. I also have like this pattern, which I think is a little trendier because the polka dots are not perfect circles. I really think that makes it a little more modern. I love the trim around the uh, collar here um, and it's not see-through, but it's kind of rayon on front and it's kind of knit in the back, but does not cling to my back, just so you know. I also recommend shell blouses from Loft, from Ann Taylor. This beautiful blue one with a bow could be worn with black jeans or black pants for a dressier outfit on vacation or it can be worn with jeans or with shorts even. The flutter sleeves on the shell blouses from Loft usually are the kind of fabric where you do not have to iron them at all. They don't wrinkle. They're so easy to wear. Do not underestimate the power of jean shorts or white shorts. They will match with every colored top. They will match with a patterned shell blouse and can be worn with nice sandals or with tennis shoes and a t-shirt if you're going on an excursion during your cruise. Here are some of my shorts that I have. I bought like seven of them and I have recently bought more and these are five inches long uh, but they're a stretchier fabric and they they stretch with you when you're on vacation if that makes sense that's the navy here's the khaki and I am a size 10 ish now that we've had a couple of years and the 10 still fits fine but and I've had these for like three years I'm wearing the turquoise ones right now <laughs> I would go with khaki blue and then white you can also pack a wrap or a poncho to change up an outfit look. First, it keeps you warm in the airplane. Second, it can elevate your outfit for dinner. Wear it with a solid black shirt and then pick another color in that wrap or shawl to wear with it another night for dinner. I have three travel tips for ponchos or shawls or wraps. Number one, stay away from tassels. Number two, stay away from thick fabric. Ponchos or wraps with thick fabric get caught on the airplane seats. They also restrict your movements. And then number three is to stay away from large prints. They tend to age you really fast. A viewer named Janet has shown us two pictures from her cruise. She wore a basic outfit underneath and then these two shawls, see how they kind of blend so they do not age her as much. Another cruise ship vacation outfit idea is to pack this cardigan that has a scarf front. The scarf is only on the front and then the back part and the sleeves are black. So you could pair that with black and a black top. That monochromatic base outfit lets you layer on this top piece easily. And then there are a couple of other colors in that cardigan sweater 
cardigan scarf thing that you could also wear another night. You can also pack this jacket. The pink peplum is so cute and it also comes in white and that's a casual look, but the little buttons elevate it a little bit. I think it's very feminine looking and can match or be coordinated with several other outfit pieces for a cruise ship. You can also pack this jacket. It's an eyelet pattern, which would go with many solid colors and it can look dressy or casual during the day. I would also pack white jeans to wear for a cruise ship trip. It is really easy for it to look casual with a pair of brown sandals, a pair of blush sandals, which I talk about in my shoe video, um, even with sneakers. But finding white jeans that are not see-through is very hard. Mine are many years old. I don't even have a link. So Loft has some, Chico's, just look and you've got to try them on. I also like denim capris. You've got to decide which color denim is better for you. I highly recommend the Wit and Wisdom brand from Nordstrom. You get free shipping and free returns there. They are a mid-rise and they kind of have this thick elastic that pulls you in around your waist. You can also pack a few gold accessories to wear with a solid color t-shirt to make it look dressier for a nicer restaurant. I like to pack pearls for a cruise ship. I don't know why, I guess pearl being in the ocean oyster shell. <laughs> Another way to accessorize is through your crossbody bag. I have this really cute one that is uh, rattan. It's a smooth rattan. I think it's rattan. It's straw bag on Amazon. Gold chain that can be taken off. And here's the little strap that makes it a wristlet. The thing I like about this is that it is totally expandable so I can see inside easily. And it has three little slots. I have a crossbody bag video talking about the features to look for. So be sure to check that one out. This is only a wristlet. I really like it for some reason. The inside is like a uh, silky cotton. Uh, there's no pocket inside, but that's an idea for you. And then I always have my blush one. My blush purse, I just wear this every day. My big old glasses case is in it, but it holds a ton and it has an outer pocket that I like for my phone. One great cruise ship vacation outfit travel tip is to only choose two nights that you are going to go to a formal dinner. And that helps you only have to think of one extra piece to add to your vacation outfits for that cruise ship trip. If you like to dress up though, here are some easy dresses to pack. This blue one is going to sell out fast. It's on Loft's website. I know I would probably only wear this once. It's just gorgeous. I want it so bad and it's fully lined. Their dresses are long enough for me and a shift dress is another idea. It's lined, this one from Tommy Bahama, comes in many colors. I tried on an army greenish brown one in the real Tommy Bahama store, but I found them at Dillard's for a little less. I love this dress because it's so fun. It's a strawberry red and would go with high heels, with blush sandals, it'll go with brown sandals, whatever skin tone your leg is, um, it will go with. It is 100% cotton, so I sized up to a large and I'm size 10 and it fits perfectly. It is slightly see-through. So here is a travel hack for a see-through dress or packing a slip on vacation. A regular length slip is too long for a lot of dresses. So my idea is to pull your slip up below your bust or right on top of your bust line. Um, and that makes the slip shorter. This wrap dress is gorgeous and it is in a knit fabric, which makes it feel a little more comfortable. It is 54 inches long and that would be plenty long enough on me that it's not going to drag the ground like I mentioned earlier. I also am finally investing in a pajama set to take on vacation. <laughs> I do not like buttons. They are the cutest little pajama sets, but they hurt when you're trying to sleep. For swimsuits, I have two tankini suits that I love. I took this bright pink one to Galveston. I also bought it in this navy and green pattern. And then I love this royal blue. It, I feel so confident in it. My blue one is almost a perfect match to my swim cover-up, but I really, it really doesn't matter what color my swim cover-up is. I'm going to choose between these two one-piece bathing suits. They're miracle suit. One is gingham. It is so cute. And I know it's gonna go fast, but this bright, pink one with the white up here. You know what? I just made my decision. A travel tip to remember when you're choosing bathing suits or swimsuits is if it's white, it is going to get tainted or tinted because of the suntan lotion and your oil and dirt. 
So that made up my mind. I'm going to get the gingham one <laughs> and I'm going to see if it fits right. You just have to see. If you have stuck around for this cruise ship vacation outfit video, you are going to hear the easiest outfit to wear on a cruise ship. And that is black bottom pieces, a black t-shirt that is solid. I love my sleeveless one that's boat necked and then a pair of pearls, pearl earrings done the easiest outfit to wear on a cruise ship if you want to elevate your look now that you have some cruise ship vacation outfit ideas you need to know the types of shoes that are best for that and for the excursions that you might be taking i have several more shoes in my best shoes for travel video that i will link up here and in the description box below with all of the links to these outfit pieces you get to the description box by clicking the little angle carrot or clicking the word show more bon voyage and i hope you have such a great time choosing outfits that you're comfortable in and confident in that can be worn several different ways thus only packing a few of them <laughs> it's going to be hard to make a choice let me know what travel outfit pieces that you do end up packing that work best for your vacation Thanks for your time. I know it was a long video.